All right, lots of stuff to get to today. Nope, not going to talk about that one yet. Not that one yet. Nope, not that one. Although the Facebook story is extremely interesting. Nope, let's talk about racist Democrats, shall we? <clears throat> All right. What do I call the attitude towards illegal immigrants and even some legal immigrants in the United States? What do I, what do I say that the, the mentality is of people who, who want open borders to bring these people into the country? What, do you, what are they trying to do? They're trying to get indentured servants, right? Because if you look at the market, okay, for immigrants, particularly illegal immigrants in the United States, they go into jobs that would be servant-like, all right? So they pick lettuce, they pick cotton, they pick crops, they mow lawns, they do grunt work, they clean your house. These are all things that used to be done by servants and slaves and indentured servants in the, the old world, if you will. So as you see more and more people defending illegal immigrants being in the country, one of the ways that they do that is they go out there and they say that we need them to do these jobs, these menial jobs that are beneath Americans. Now, they, they phrase that a little differently. They say that these are the jobs that Americans won't do, which, of course, is preposterous. But what they do is they, they are actually asking for people to take menial work for substandard wages, right? Now, what happens after you have illegal immigrants in the country for a certain period of time when you're an open borders type? Then after they've been here for a certain period of time, you go, they've been here for a long time. We should give them rights and extra benefits and even citizenship if it comes up. What is indentured servitude again? I will sign a contract to work for you uh, in slave-like conditions as long as you provide this and this and this. And after a set period of time, you set me free. So it sure seems like it's indentured servitude. Now, let me bring up Representative Tom Malinowski. Now, he is a Democratic representative from New Jersey. So he's speaking to a crowd of wealthy white people. And he says, he suggests to the crowd that immigrants, whether they are legal or illegal, are needed in the United States to mow, and I quote, our beautiful lawns. Uh-huh. I told you. I mean, they admit it routinely. That's the thing that is so frustrating, I guess, about some people not buying into this indentured servitude thing is that they consistently say that they want them. For th John McCain said the same thing. Okay, so you just hate Democrats, you tribalists. No, John McCain said the same crap. John McCain was at a town hall and he looked at a bunch of people in that room and said, none of you want to be outside picking lettuce when it's 120 degrees outside. I'm paraphrasing, but that's essentially what he said. You know what he was saying? You're Americans. You shouldn't be outside picking lettuce in hot temperatures like that for substandard wages. That's what the Mexicans are for. To paraphrase what John McCain was saying. I told you he's not a nice guy. Uh, so anyway. The full story, <clears throat> a Democratic lawmaker suggests that we need uh, immigrants to mow our beautiful lawns or work other undesirable jobs that U.S. citizens don't want to do. Now, I want to remind you with Coke Foods that we just had. Oh, yeah, one of the Coke guys died today. Uh, one of the Coke brothers died. So now you have Coke Foods, right? Not not related. You have Coke Foods. You had the big ice rage. You had 700 people taken into custody. And again, those illegal immigrants were taken into custody. They're being deported. They're, they're being processed, what have you. And what happened? Like 200 Americans signed up outside to take their jobs. I thought that was work that they wouldn't do. And this is routinely disproven over my entire political career because I come from the Southwest where obviously illegal immigration is a much bigger problem than it is here and much bigger problem than many of you could possibly imagine. And this is consistently said. They just do things that you don't want to do. I mean, you don't want to actually like, you know, pick lettuce in the fields, do you? You don't want to, you don't want to clean hotel rooms, do you? You don't want to, you know, you don't want to mow lawns in the, in the heat or anything like that. Do you really want to do that? And then, you know, pretty soon it's like, you don't want to raise your kids, do you? You just have somebody else do that. It's not a big deal to have somebody else do that. You can get them at uh, yeah, cut rates, you know, $3 a day and a couple of grapes and you can get somebody to raise your kids for you. And you start seeing these things and they have made these comments 
for at least 20 years. Okay. Now we, we know that obviously people abuse illegal immigrants who come into this country. They abuse them in big farms. They abuse them in corporations. They abuse them in residential households. They, I have told you the stories many, many times of, um, house maids, servants, that sort of thing that were basically enslaved. Once they got here, they weren't allowed to leave unless they were being accompanied to the store. If they did leave, the threat was we're going to tell immigration that you're here and they're going to throw you in prison and you're never going to see your family again. That was always the threat. Anytime they discovered one of these homes, which is routine where I'm from, they would find these people who had basically been enslaved and they were from all over central and South America, Mexico, very prominent off also. Uh, there are a lot of jobs in our community that, like it or not, for better or worse, Americans are not willing to take, Malinowski said in a video. Now, that video was obtained by the Washington Examiner. This is the Daily Caller that we're reading from. I mean, who do you think is taking care of our seniors? Oh. So now, now the illegal immigrants are here to just take care of senior citizens and stuff, too. Well, and some legal immigrants, too, just here to take care of well, who is taking care of seniors in the United States? Uh, the answer to that is the l the most cost-effective and affordable labor that you can get uh, that would meet the basic qualifications of this. So if you look at, uh, we went back, I don't know, a year or two ago, I think we did a whole story on the H-1B visa thing. And they were talking about how when there was the restrictions that were placed on the H-1B visas, we had a bunch of these tourist destination summer job places that were no longer hiring teenagers for their summer jobs because they were getting foreign workers to come in from outside of the United States. and They were paying them a fraction of what they would be forced to pay an American teenager. And they're bringing in these adults. So from their perspective, we're getting more mature people to come into the United States and do this work and we can pay them less. So when those restrictions went into place, do you remember what the story was? The story was that they had to raise their salaries in order to attract new people to get those jobs. And in fact, many of these resorts got into bidding wars for teenagers with no experience, ladies and gentlemen. They got into bidding wars with those American teenagers because there was a finite supply of teenagers. And of course, they needed to fill those positions. So you'd have this resort offering this much with these fringe benefits, this resort offering this much with these fringe, fringe benefits. And they were finding out that American teenagers were actually playing these resorts off of one another and getting the best possible salary, which was way higher than the foreign workers that they got. Now, again, there's two ways of thinking about this. One is obviously the business would rather pay somebody less who can do the job. The other argument is, see, Americans will do that job if you just pay them appropriately. And you don't have to pay somebody in the country illegally appropriately because you have them basically under the thumb. It's indentured servitude. And that's the problem with this stuff. And this guy, whether he realizes it or not, he basically just endorsed it. Who's going to mow your lawns? I don't know. I mow my own lawn. I know, I know a lot of people who mow lawns. The last house that I lived at, two white guys mowed the neighbor's lawn. Uh, so, yeah, Americans will mow people's lawns, you snootish, snobbish, rich guy from New Jersey. And again, he's sitting there talking to a bunch of rich white people. What do rich white people do, Joe? Nothing. Nothing. They don't mow their own lawn. You know what they do? They hire the cheapest person they can get to do it, whose name may or may not be Hispanic. Okay? So, he, they don't even realize that they're endorsing it. In his mind, immigrants are not, they're really no good unless they are basically our endangered servants and they're doing all of these jobs that we deem to be beneath us. Then it's okay to have them here. We've got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel.